In the online toolbox Stories That Move, visible thinking strategies are used in several activities. And in this video, I will explain to you one of these visible thinking strategies called See, Think, Wonder. See, Think, Wonder is actually a three-step process. Learners are shown an image and they are asked to write down what they see, then what they think, and in the third step, they are asked to write down questions. What would they like to know about this object? Often we tend to mix these three steps and we do not take the time to realize that these are actually very different things. What do I see? What do I think? And what would I like to know about this image or object? This methodology combines the natural curiosity of your learners and careful observation. Let us try to use this routine with this object. Now let me ask you, what do you see? Maybe I see a round golden object. I see the letters ZZV. I see something that looks like water. Take the time to question yourself, what is it that you see? Now let me ask you, what do you think? Maybe I think it's a coin. Maybe it's a medal. What do you think? And the last step, what would you like to know about this object? Maybe I'd like to know who's it from? Why was it kept? What do the letters ZZV stand for? What story is behind this object? We work with this methodology because it is empowering. Learners, they gain control in small steps over their own active learning process. Stories That Move has several activities using C think wonder. For example, in the learning path about life stories, which includes 10 historical biographies. Some important advice when you do this exercise is give time. Really take the time for your learners to carefully look at an object or an image so that they can experience that it's very worthwhile and revealing to look carefully and take the time. Don't hesitate to challenge someone if he jumps ahead. Sometimes um, our learners, they tend to mix the step of what they see and what they think and just interact and ask them, what is it that you actually see? And is this something that you see or is it something that you think? And last but not least, be neutral, always in your own position. Don't praise someone or indicate that they are right or wrong, but ask open and neutral questions. For example, why do you think that? Or why do you say that? Or include the classroom. Does anyone else see something different? Good luck using this exercise with your students.